Hey everyone, it's Karnak with Star Wars Armada Explained. Today I want to talk about an upcoming tournament that's going to be held in Texas in July. Specifically, this year there's going to be um, a frontline gaming event that's called the Lone Star Open. And that is on July 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And that is essentially in Dallas, Texas, or in Allen if you want to get more technical. So the Lone Star Open for this year, uh, it's largely from a company that does Warhammer events, but they've been trying to branch out to try to help fill some of the gaps from the fact that there's no organized play yet for Armada or X-Wing or Legion. So the Lone Star Open, they reached out to me to come and run this event for them. Um, so while they're running the overall venue, they needed you know a tournament judge and an event organizer um, specifically for their event. I feel comfortable going because I feel like by July, um, I feel enough people should have a, a vaccinations. I'm fully vaccinated. Um, the event is still going to require that you follow all CDC guidelines, mask requirements, sanitation, etc. So I feel safe being myself a person who's fully vaccinated and we're still following all these regulations in terms of making sure we're trying to keep everyone else as safe as possible. I feel comfortable going and traveling in this situation. Obviously, for other people who have, you know, health concerns or otherwise, you know, you need to decide for yourself what's considered, you know, acceptable for, for you. Um, so, again, it's going to be Texas in July, so it's going to be hot. Uh, but I, I definitely feel like that this is a, a, a fun trip to go to if you're looking into it. So I'll have all the links for you to be able to look at. But the Lone Star uh, Open registration is up right now. So again, that's in, uh, it's at the Waters Creek Convention Center in Allen, Texas. Uh, they've got a little video here that kind of showcases off the area. Um, they have a variety of events you can play. Again, it's largely Forehammer or Forehammer, 40K Warhammer focused. But as I mentioned, they do have Legion and X-Wing events. But of course, I'm going to be talking about the Armada events because I'm the Armada judge. So... The Armada events, if you click this link right here, it's going to take you kind of to the, to the ticket area. So I have personally have prepared three different events uh, to try to range from those that really want to be competitive to more casual or even just something fun. So we have um, our main tournament player pack. Uh, this is um, what Frontline Gaming is calling their championship tournament for this event. There's no rewards or prizes being offered other than just like, hey, thanks for showing up. You know, you're the winner of this event. Um, but, you know, the, the idea is that hopefully this will grow and become something more um, as time progresses. We've had a lot of talks and discussions on a lot of cool ideas. It's trying to get that all pen to paper to expand upon that. But for the main event, this will be taking place on Friday and Saturday. Uh, this will follow a competitive or formal format. Uh, prizes, we're still working on all the prizing we have a lot of cool ideas and things we want to do. Uh, of course, there's only so much of a budget to work with, but we're, we're doing our best to try to have good and fun prizes. Um, don't expect like full range ruler trays or anything like that. This isn't worlds, you know, there's, but we're, we're going to try to have some, some, at least some uh, alt art cards and, uh, you know, various other, like maybe some acrylic stuff from Admiral Tater Ship Shop. He's communicating to me. He's willing to donate some material. Um, and some of the stuff I'll be paying out of pocket that again try to support some pricing for the event. So there still will be some some good in, in, uh, things here. Um, for the event schedule for Friday, we're going to be starting at nine in the morning. Uh, there will be four rounds on Friday. At the end of Friday, we then will have a cut. The top sixteen will proceed to Saturday, and then we'll have a new three rounds of Swiss. Um, I do want to point out that for if any reason, if this event does grow large enough where we have at least 100 registered players, uh, we're scrapping that and we're going to be doing three rounds on Friday, three rounds on Saturday, and then a top cut finals on Sunday. I don't necessarily believe we're going to get 100 players registered, but y'all might surprise me and we might have that. In which case, we want to make sure we're accommodating like, well, we got all these players here. Of course, we got to hold a big tournament. Um, but in terms of why, why Swiss and then cut to more Swiss, uh, based largely on my interactions with the Armada community, that is the, the main tournament structure that most players enjoy. 
Um, it's also just really difficult to squeeze more than five rounds in a day. It's exhausting. I mean, some players who are new do not realize how exhausting it is to try to have five rounds in one day for not only me as the judge, but for the players, tempers really start to flare. That's because you're standing on your feet for hours on end. And it's just, it's a lot. So that's why we try to really just keep it to no more than four. Um, and of course, then we have the top 16 cut, which if you don't make that, then, you know, you can sign up for, for other events on Saturday or Sunday to play in. Uh, so, you know, we try to make sure that I'm being accommodating to a variety of, of players. Um, and yeah, you can use any released Armada content. Um, it's got, if you go scroll down here, you'll see the format and, and all this, all these things here. It explains everything, um, but materials you need to make sure you're showing up with. Um, how we're going to be doing lists and, and, you know, products and things of that nature. And, of course, it's got a little blurb there about, you know, the pandemic. But that's the main tournament. The main tournament cost is going to be $45. Now, some of these costs, some players are going to look at and be like, well, that seems a little high. Well, remember, we still are having to accommodate for extra expense of the pandemic and also sanitation costs. You know, the event just can't sanitize everything consistently for free. So just keep that in mind that part of the reason why the cost is a bit high, it's just because like with all things in the pandemic, costs for everything have just gone up. Um, but that's for the main tournament. Now it happens if you're super casual player and you don't want to play in the main tournament, well I'll encourage you, please play in the main tournament because you learn by playing. But specifically for new players that maybe they're still learning how to play, they need you know some help, they want something more casual focused, we do have uh, what's called a relaxed tournament. Now the relaxed tournament takes place on Saturday, which will be alongside the finals. And so this is specifically for new players. It's to encourage to try new things. So maybe you showed up at the competitive tournament and you brought your competitive list and well, it got blown apart and you lost anyway. So then you come to this casual tournament, you have a super, you know, laid back fleet. Maybe it's something you just kind of threw together thinking, I don't know how this is going to work, but it sounds fun to play. Perfect environment for this to try out. And the ticket cost for this um, relaxed tournament is $25. So, and it's just three rounds of Swiss. So just like a normal basic um, tournament. Um, oh, I need to... Remove that part. There we go. <laughs> we don't have any top 16 or anything like that. Again, it's got all the same stuff pretty much as before. Um, so make sure, again, to read the uh, event material. So, yeah, essentially just if you show up in the main tournament and get knocked out and you still want to play more Armada, this is more Armada. Or go check out the some other events at the event or, or something else. We're just trying to give Armada players flexibility to, to do what they want. Now, the final thing that we're offering, and this is what I'm most proud of, is that for a very long time, a lot of players have been asking, we just want just like some random custom scenario event. We don't want to just play more of the same Armada stuff. Can we just do something different? So I've devised a tournament. It's called the Nerf Herder Clash, and it's a $15 ticket on here you can purchase. So we try to keep it, you know, very reasonable, and this takes place on Sunday. And these are about hour, hour and a half uh, rounds, so they're shorter rounds. There's only three of them. So the whole purpose of this tournament is just, as it states on here, relaxed custom structure event focused on small ships, small number of squadrons for quick, fast-paced games. Uh, again, three rounds lasting 75 minutes. Um, and essentially, there's a custom um, rule building set here for your fleets. So we're only allowed 200-point fleets or we, I said mean I, um, you have a, a limited number of squadrons you can bring. There's no commander upgrade cards. There's no objective cards. You can only have one, at most one flotilla, and at most one medium base ship. No large ships, no huge base ships. It's on a three by three mat. Um, and all three games is essentially, it, it boils down to AKA football, or what is called the nerf, and you're the herders hurting the nerf back and forth across the table to try to score points. And I've got the rules laid out there for you. Um, essentially, it's, it's based on a, you know, a command point control system where if you're at a certain distance with either ships or squadrons, um, you generate you know, control points to then try to move the nerf to your opponent's uh, deployment zone. 
So again, these are just meant to be quick, fast-paced, fun games. They're not meant to be seriously competitive. Uh, it's just something different, something new, because if this game mode, um, if people enjoy it or give me good feedback, it only encourages me to continue to try to come up with other cool, neat, little, fun, fast-paced games like this. So that is Lone Star Open. Um, you can, again, I'll have the links for everything here. Uh, there is no convention ticket because it's not a convention. So that saves you a little bit of cost. All you're paying for is just, you know, buy the tournament tickets for the tournaments you want to go to. I, uh, we are actively encouraging players to please sign up as soon as you possibly can, because the more tickets we're able to accumulate now means that we potentially won't have to cancel events later so for example if i get 10 people that sign up for the main tournament and then they don't know if they want to do any of the other ones well if i don't have any players that sign up for them they will cancel those events and give those tables potentially to other tournaments that are running that may need those tables so you know please help me out sign up for all of the events now if you do sign up for the main tournament and let's say you get into the top 16 but you also had signed up for the the casual tournament you do get refunded on that ticket um or it's either you will get a full refund or it's put to something else or essentially that's between you and frontline gaming they have something worked out for you know if you obviously can't play in that tournament you will get a form of compensation um whether that be um you know again a ticket for some other event or if you want a full refund i, I believe those there's multiple options there that you'll be able to work out with them uh pretty much the, the end point being they're not going to punish you because obviously you can't attend because you've gotten to the championship so grand total if you're looking to pay for all three you know we've got what 45 25 15 so 15 that's 30 40 80 you're going to pay 85 dollars for an entire weekend of armada which to me that seems reasonable i mean obviously there's other costs associated with that travel and where you're going to stay etc but um we're, we're trying to price these out to be encouraging and to establish uh you know the that these are events that will have start having these tournaments and again trying to Frontline Gaming is wanting to hold like tons of events every year, like eight, ten events across the United States. They're really trying to open up and expand and show players that, hey, we don't just care about 40K, we also care about these other fun games too. But if you do have any questions for me, um, be sure to, to pitch them at me. Um, I've got my email in the packets, how you can contact me. Uh, yeah, I, I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm totally looking forward to playing real Armada on tables and watching other players play. Um, in terms of rules interactions for the most recent Armada wave, I'm hoping to have that all taken care of by the end of the month. That'll be updated. If you look at the packet, if you go down to FAQ, uh, you'll see that I have a link for a Judges Armada reference manual. So that is my reference manual. Um, that should be updated You know, going into June with all the new Wave 10 interactions and things that are going on there. Um, I know AMG is trying really hard to get their Armada Rules form stood up. I don't know when that will happen, probably not in time for this event. Uh, but again, if you've got questions, concerns, let me know about it. I'll make sure I'm taking care of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited for this and for other future uh, you know, frontline gaming events because we also have the Las Vegas Open in January coming up. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I know they're wanting events in like San Diego and elsewhere, so it's going to be a great time. And, you know, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.